Hello and welcome to another modeling video. This is Alan from the McConnoman at YouTube with a, another model video. I've got a bit of a problem at the moment regarding the dulling or matte finish of my model kits, especially with the smooth surface of a Gundam kit and gloss coats to seal certain effects such as washes and decals. And getting a really reliable finish can be a bit tricky with a product that I thoroughly enjoy. And the latest piece that I've used is not accessible in Australia anymore. So I'm going to use a whole range of uh, products and see what is ideal for me and others to use locally depending on where you are around the world. The standardized spoon painting test will be conducted on my usual airbrush rig. First product is Tamir Acrylic Clear Flat. The original bottle has been lost. It has been cut with Tamir Acrylic Thinner. Next is the EX4 50ml Gaia Note Flat Clear. This is locally and internationally available online. EX10 Premium Clear Flat Gaia Note 50ml. I've had very good experience utilizing this finish and wish to purchase more. Bought it in Japan, cannot find it online and cannot locally source it. The product completely differs to X4 in intensity of pigment. Number 8 standard Gaia Note Flat Clear. Bought this specially just to test with everything else in the review. Easily acquired, sadly a very small quantity. GX114 Smooth Flat Clear by Mr. Color. Also very easy to acquire and a fairly effective flat. The lacquer paints were thinned with premium acrylic thinner. Any sort of uh, budget retarded thinner will do the exact same thing. Airbrush at a 0.5mm at around 11 to 15 psi. The original intent was to allow the clears to dry over two hours. However, one of them has taken a lot longer than that and we're sitting at the seven hour period. Here are our selections of spoons. Uh, first, the Tamir Clear Matte, which is fairly frosted. However, white dots do appear when the surface is too prematurely applied or there's any sort of uh, faults or imperfections, uh, introduction of uh, moisture. This can be controlled and negated, though haphazardly or uh, not uh, too experienced will result in this. Generally, to me, it was the main clear I used for many years on this channel until I moved into lacquers about... Uh, five to seven years ago. So I no longer use it, but these are some of the struggles I used to have to deal with. This is the EX4 Flat Clear, and I'm very disappointed with this product that it is not a true dead matte or flat, but more of a satin peach, a little less than semi-gloss, and will give a bit of a sheen. Uh, being in such a large quantity and in hope to meet all of my flat requirements is something I will not buy again unless it was uh, properly tagged as a satin. This I picked up in Japan exclusively. Australia will not carry it and I struggle to find it online. X10 Premium Flat Clear that has a milky solid finish. This is the most true and smooth flat finish I have ever achieved and have been absolutely blown away with and impressed. It gives it a bit of a uh, soft in scale texture to it. Incredibly smooth. Just really enjoy the the luster and overall appearance. When I do travel overseas, I'll have to grab a couple of bottles for its regular use. In the panic that if I run out, I have purchased the uh, Flat Clear Number no. 8 Standard Guy Note range. As the finish is quite soft and wonderful, fairly close to the premium grade, it has taken over seven to eight hours to dry, which is a bit of a concern. This could have been done via my own error. 
and last the GX Mr. Color Smooth Super Clear Flat. This is fairly easily accessible in both the United States and Australia. It comes in a rough which has a different texture and luster altogether. Ideal for weathering, dry brushing, the application of uh, pigments. This is a finisher on top or if you wish to apply decals or washes where a smooth surface is required. Has a lovely texture and luster. However, it is ever so more gentle than the Guy Note and will require more coats for a general flat. Overall, the majority of these products are pretty good. The lacquers are far easier to use. My clear favourite is definitely the Premium Guy Note. Now, I'll most likely be using the GX Mist Colour due to ease of access. All in all, it depends on what product I can get my hands on. Now, the problem with applying a clear coat mat is there's a bit of surface preparation if you want to have that dead flat look. If you're applying on a glossy surface or a build-up of gloss and you're purely going to dull that down with the pigment in matte, it's going to take a lot of layers, a lot of time, wasteful amount of product. And this is a test on a very smooth surface that is the spoon, which I don't find to be a very useful uh, testing surface as injection molded plastics are not normally that uh, wide and smooth. There's detail and rough patches and all that sort of thing. But if you were working on a project that was this smooth and polished and you want to have the best matte finish, there's a bit of surface prep with uh, sanding and buffing, which is naturally going to happen on this, your model kit through the removal of uh, nubs. So we're going to work through a variety of sandpapers and we're going to buff it up to go from a gloss look to a deadpan matte through a series of very fine scratches and the ability to not to reflect light when we put some black paint on it and then a matte coat. Check that out. No sheen whatsoever. Same conditions of applying a couple of coats of the black and with nothing to reflect it's going to be glossy while the paint is uh, wet and the thinner is leaving and that's going to darken up in 5-15 minutes. At this rate it literally does not matter which product we use it's going to be cutting the glossiness or any sort of sheen further with uh, the pigment bounded in the clear and just guarantee that any remnant of sheen is absolutely cut and we can seal anything extra being metallic, flake, pigment, decals and give it a solid matte appearance. Instead of colouring it in solidly for a wet coat we're going to apply a few dry build-up coats or uh, dusting. There is a sheen. After some time drying, the frost effect is far superior to any of the other examples. If the coat is dry and hard enough, you can lightly scuff it further with some sandpaper of uh, various smooth grits and give it an ideal deadest as possible matte effect. It's all about the process and the afterwork. And there you go. A review of all the different matte clear paints for your scale models to seal them and preparation of the surface to get the deadest flat possible with any of them. Thank you very much for watching. As always, until next time, stay tuned for further content. Check out all the social media links down below for further reference and other projects and content. Thank you for watching.